guys, this is the eMeet meeting capsule. It's a very premium speakerphone that you can use for meetings, both remote and in person. This is one of the Red Dot winner awards for 2022, and I'm pretty excited to try this out. I'm gonna unbox this and showcase you guys what comes in the box, but essentially, it has five different types of modes that you can use. Collaboration mode, speech mode, classic mode, spotlight, and in private mode. And I'm gonna be showcasing all of those modes to show how this works. This is a 360 degree 1080p full HD camera, which can capture pretty much the entire room. And there's so many different features packed into this, including intelligent AI. And I'm excited to show all of that to you guys. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so this is the speakerphone right there at the top. It's a very nice design. I will be covering more on the design in a second once I've turned it on. Let's just take a look at the accessories box. So you have the eMe to user manual, lots of information on there on how to use it. But one thing I really like about this and all of the eMe speakers that I've used in the past is that they are plug and play, very quick and easy to use. This one you literally just connect to your laptop and it pretty much is instantly paired and you can use it with any type of meeting and remote calling software that you have, Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, whatever it may be. Else in the box, you have yourself the USB to USB-C. This also has an adapter, so you can just take this off and have it as a USB-C to USB-C one. So if you wanted to use with traditional USB, you've got the adapter attached to it. It's a very nice, high quality braided cable. Then you also have your power adapter, so you do need to plug this into a power source so that it works. And in here, you have yourself the remote control, various different functions to change the different modes, which you'll see there. And I will be using the remote control and give you an introduction of this when I do set it up. And it does come with two AAA batteries as well, just to put inside the remote control. So it's pretty straightforward, simple things. I'm gonna be just plugging it in, connecting it with the USB to my laptop, and then opening up a Zoom call and showcasing all of the different modes and showcasing the quality of this. And not only that, but also, I'm going to run through now the specifications of this, which are the main highlight and features of this. Starting off with the price, it is $700. It is quite expensive, but with the amount of features that is packed into this and with sort of like the intelligent system in there, the plug and play and all of the specs that I'm going to run through with you now, you'll understand why it costs that much. First of all, you'll see the design of this all around 360. This has eight intelligent omnidirectional microphones that pick up voices from all different angles around the room. And you can have a radius of up to 18 feet, which is around five and a half meters, which I think is great. So even if you use this in very large boardrooms, you're going to manage to pick up everyone's voices no matter how far they are from the speakerphone. Five meters is quite a long distance to be from any microphone. And the fact that this has such high quality mics in there just really shows the power that this packs in. So let's talk a little bit about the buttons and the ports. This is the mode button. So this will cycle through the four different modes. The fifth mode is the in private mode, which is this middle button here that will turn off the camera and the microphone. And if you just wanted to mute the mics, then that's the button there. You've got the USB-C port to connect this to your laptop, a link port. So if you wanted to do auxiliary output, then you can also use that. DC input for the power. And then there's a lock button just there at the bottom. Right at the bottom of the device, you'll see there's a quarter inch thread there. So you can mount this on a tripod if that's something you'd like to do. Now this boasts a 10 watt 90 decibel speaker, which provides hi-fi grade sound. That just makes it very louder and clearer. And I will be showcasing some sound samples to you guys coming from this speaker, not only by people speaking on a meeting, but I'll try and play some music as well, just to show you the quality that the output this provides with the audio. When you do turn it on with one of the modes, You'll see the camera will flip out like this. When you want to use the 360 view, this will face upwards and the camera sensor there will show the entire room and it'll give you like a panoramic strip at the bottom of your meeting call, which you can also turn off. But this is a very high quality camera and I'm gonna be showcasing a lot of sample videos that I'm gonna take with my Zoom meeting calls on this. But essentially this is AI powered autofocus as well. And what that means is it's intelligent multimodal algorithm auto focuses on the active speakers responsively. And what that means is if you have five people sitting around a meeting room and the speaker is right in the middle, 
it will automatically pick up and focus on that person speaking and highlight them on your meeting call. I will be showcasing that as well so you guys can see that in action, but that for me is a very intelligent thing that not a simple speakerphone can ever do. Then this also has optimized voice pickup. What that means is this provides full duplex audio and eMeet have created an exclusive voice IA DSP algorithm that features noise reduction and human voice enhancement. If you have maybe a lot of background noise, people typing on keyboards, maybe some soft music playing in the background in the distance, this will eliminate all of that and just focus on your vocals. And that is quite important, especially when you're having meetings in open areas. And like I mentioned with plug and play, you don't need to connect this via Bluetooth. You don't need to have this connect to any particular Wi-Fi. Just connect that to your laptop and it will automatically be recognized to use as your speaker and your microphone. So for me, you know, that's a big bonus when you're gonna spend a lot of money on something like this. You want it to be very simple and easy to use and not over complicated. And finally, if you work for a large enterprise and you want maybe more of these in a single room because you might have 20 people that are in a very, very large open space, then you can daisy chain these. So eMeet have the M3 model speaker phones that you can connect directly with the meeting capsule. So you don't necessarily have to buy a whole bunch of meeting capsules because that will cost quite a lot. You can get the smaller M3 ones to extend the audio to further distances in the same room. And that just shows how much they have this ecosystem of all of the eMeet devices. If you guys are not familiar with eMeet, I definitely recommend you guys check out the link in the description. Have a look at their website. They don't just do meeting capsules like this. They have a bunch of speaker phones, they do webcams and they do headsets. Perfect for businesses and I've used their products in the past and I've been super impressed. That's everything. Now let's go ahead and set this up with my laptop and showcase all the different modes, the capabilities, how it sounds and how the camera looks in the video quality and let's get into that. All right guys, so before we get into going through all the different types of modes, I'm gonna run through the remote control and how you can use that with any of your meeting softwares. But I'm also going to showcase this one. This is the eMeet link. It's one designed directly by eMeet. And I think it's really good to showcase some of the more advanced functionalities that you can use with this software. So on the right hand side, you have yourself the pane that can switch between the different angles of the camera. You can turn the panoramic frame on and off from the right hand side here. You can see at the top, the video mode is at collaboration mode and I will cycle through the different modes and I'll showcase them in action using Zoom, which is probably the most common software that you will be using this device with. And then we have various different other settings down here, as you can see. But one thing I really like is you can also adjust the brightness levels, contrast, sharpness, and saturation levels. So if I turn this up, I can make myself a little bit more sharper. I can turn the contrast however I like, depending on the lighting in the room. And of course the brightness, I can go darker or I can go very bright. So you can find your adjustments that suits your needs. You can also flip the mirror, horizontal and vertical, and you can also update the firmware from this software itself. If I go ahead and look at the remote control, I'm going to be switching the mode using the top left button here. But before I do that, you can see in collaboration mode, you have a panoramic strip along the bottom. The button at the bottom row of the remote control here in the middle, this will turn off the panoramic strip like so. And you can see it's very quick and easy to do that. I can turn it back on like so. On the left hand side of that button, this is the sensitivity modulation button. On the right hand side here, you have low, middle and high. You can set this to whatever you like using the button on the remote control. So if I press it once, it will go to high, and you'll see in the software, as soon as I press it, it cycles between them, and then it loops. So you can adjust that yourself. You can also change the initial angle of the camera as well. You can change the anti flicker from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. And then let's go ahead and change the mode with the remote control. This is speech mode. The camera will still be facing upwards. This is now classic mode. You get to see the entire fisheye view of the room. Then it goes to spotlight mode. And then finally it will go back to collaboration mode. If I wanted to go into in private mode, I'll just press that button in the middle. It will turn the camera and the microphone off. And now you'll see nothing and it will be very private. If you press that again, it will turn back on and everything comes back into collaboration mode. Now, if you go into classic mode, 
you have a zoom button on the remote control here this will zoom in in the camera if you wanted to maybe get a little bit closer to your subject there you go I pressed it once and I pressed it a second time so there's three different levels of zoom you can see in the software you've got 180 140 and 120 degree field of view with the fish eye lens so if I press it one more time it goes back to 180 degrees so there's plenty of different functionalities you can use the remote control with and then you have the volume control at the bottom as well and you'll see on the speaker it gives you audio notifications of how loud that is so that's everything with the eMeet link software i'll leave a link in the description of where you can download this software let's go ahead and now try out all of the different modes using zoom and using this in a real life scenario so i'm going to head over to the office and set this up in the meeting rooms okay so i've gone into a meeting room now to really highlight the perfect usage of the meeting capsule so if you're going to have quite a lot of people speaking in a meeting like this this is going to be the perfect type of product for you guys so I've connected it with the DC power and I've got the USB-C connected to my laptop. The first test I want to do is show the microphones that is inbuilt into this 360 degrees by walking around the entire table from both sides, showing that my audio is still stable and is picked up clearly from no matter which angle I'm speaking at. And I will be roughly around two to three meters away from it as well, different lengths. And hopefully that gives you a showcase of how clear this picks up any type of meeting from various different distances. Okay guys, so now I'm starting to record the Zoom video call using the eMeet as the video and the audio source. So I'm currently playing this audio back directly from the microphone on the meeting capsule. So I'm gonna start walking around the table. So no matter which distance I am, I'm gonna be facing the speakerphone and you guys can hear how clearly it still picks up the audio no matter where I'm moving around the room. So I think that's you know really going to be important if you are going to have meetings with several different people sitting at several different types of distances and how clearly this can still pick up the audio from all different types of angles. So I've pretty much walked all the way around and I'm going to continue walking back again to my starting position. And hopefully that gives you an idea that this maintains the clarity in the audio for no matter which angle that you are facing to the e-meeting capsule. So that for me is a big win. All right, guys, the first mode I wanted to showcase is collaboration mode. As you can see on my Zoom meeting call, there's a panoramic strip there at the bottom. It shows three of us in the room. Right now at the top, only I'm the one visible because I'm the only person that started speaking first. As more people start to speak, they will be consolidated in little windows at the top as well. And then you can easily see who's collaborating, who's speaking within the meeting. So here's an example that I'm going to showcase to you guys. So I'll speak to the first person and ask them to the, my right, what is your plans for the rest of today? So after this, I'm gonna go grab coffee. I think I'll go for a nice walk. The weather's looking good today. Um, and then, yeah, I might go out and get, grab some food a bit later. Cool, and you guys can see the second window has appeared there on the Zoom. Now I'll get the third person to speak and ask what your plans are for the rest of today. Yeah, I'll probably just grab a coffee on the way home. I've got some work to do, but after that, I'm going to meet some friends this evening for an evening out for dinner. Nice, sounds good. And as you guys can see, this has now picked up all three of us and it's created these separate little windows. If you wanted to get rid of this panoramic strip at the bottom, to be honest, I quite like that. And this just works straight out of the box, no matter which meeting software you're using, whether that is Zoom or Teams, it will just show up like this. If you do use the remote control, there's a button on the middle at the bottom there, which can turn off the panoramic strip if you'd like to, which I think is quite a nice touch as well. It gives you more flexibility. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next mode, which is speech mode. Okay, you press the mode button. This will go into speech mode. And what this will show is it will focus on one person at a time at the top, so you won't have the split windows. So as I'm speaking first, you'll see I'm the only one visible there. So if someone else starts to speak, then they will be the only ones visible at the top of the screen. This is a very similar functionality that you do get in Zoom and Teams at the moment. When people speak, they can focus the video just on them. But this is quite a nicer way just to have that if people prefer this, seeing that maybe on a larger TV screen. So maybe just wanted to ask you guys, what type of food should we go get after we finish our meeting today? It's quite a nice uh, Thai restaurant nearby if you want to go there. 
Yeah, I think Thai, Thai food is quite good. It's one of my favorites as well. I think I'm feeling Italian food um, today. Should we go for like some pizza or some pasta maybe? It's a lot of carbs there. <laughs> I don't know what you feel like eating. Okay, yeah, all right. let's, go, let's go for Thai food then, seeing as you okay. both want to do that. Yeah, I mean, I like Thai food as well, so I think that's a, a good shout. Let's try that. Okay, so the third mode is classic mode. This is where you'll set up your speakerphone and the camera maybe at the end of the desk so you get to see a wide view of the entire room and it's just there from one location. So we're going to switch over now to the classic mode. So if you press the mode button. There we go. It will just show the entire room in kind of like a fisheye view. So here you won't have that panoramic strip at the bottom of your meeting course. So this is great for people that are dialing in remotely from different locations and they just want to see the entire room. It's going to be good as well because I'm at the furthest distance from the speakerphone and as I'm facing towards it from the back of the room, it still picks up the audio quality quite nice. So if anyone else would still like to speak, then that would also be captured from no matter which distance, depending on the size of your room, but it can go up to five, five and a half meters away. And this is really useful for having like company meetings where you want to see everyone in the same view. So what do you guys think of this view of the speakerphone where everyone is still visible in the room? Do you think that looks quite beneficial? Yeah, absolutely. It's good to have um, a good view of everyone in the meeting. And um, it'd be quite hard sometimes trying to cramp everyone into the view when it's a normal camera. So it's yeah. quite useful. I have a, a weekly all hands company meeting and we always set up a camera at the front of the office and we try and get at least 30 40 people that come to the office all in the same view so this is where that would be very beneficial as well to have something like this so that is the classic mode um, and i think that looks pretty great okay and finally the fourth mode is spotlight mode this creates kind of like a four by five ratio where it just highlights yourself this ideally is going to be good for individuals if you're just going to be using this by yourself and you don't have any other people in the room. It's more focused on just one person having this mode. Although this speakerphone is tailored for multiple people, like larger teams, if you do end up just having a meeting by yourself and you're dialing in remotely with a lot of people on the other end of the call, then you can go to spotlight mode. So the quality on the camera is a little bit clearer, just so that it's focused on one person rather than the entire room. So I just wanted to showcase this as well. You may not use this the most often, but this is an option that's still there. And I still think this is quite good that they've added this as a feature. And finally, the fifth mode was the in private mode. To do this, you can simply tap on the in private button there on the speaker or also on the remote as well, just there in the middle at the top. This will turn off the video and the microphone and you'll just go completely private. The camera there will flip upside down. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see everything has stopped on the Zoom call as well. So nobody will be able to hear me. No one can see me. And you'll see that the red indicator lights on the meeting capsule will indicate that this is completely private. And just on the topic of these indicator lights, I think it's quite nice that this doubles up also to showcase the volume that you've set it at. So as I adjust the volume on my laptop, have a look here and see how it goes up and down. So I'll put the volume up and it goes to max, which is the five LED lights. If I go down, you'll see this also reduces. So this is kind of like a volume bar based on the LED lights, which I think is also a very nice touch. All right, guys, the next test I want to showcase to you guys is the audio quality that I hear back from the speakers on this because the speakers are pretty powerful. They're very clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some podcast and I'm going to play it back with my microphone very close to this so you guys can actually hear how good this sounds. If you guys you know, David, you tested the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Mm -hmm. I actually want to ask you specifically about one thing. Okay. Uh, battery life? Yeah. How has your battery life been, and have you compared it to a previous Max phone? Yeah, so the Pro Max is good battery life. Obviously, it lasts, like, almost two days. But yeah. last year, we did the same thing, where you re reviewed the Pro, and I reviewed the Pro Max. Mm. And last year, it was a solid two straight days. Yeah. And I noticed that on this one, it was still good, but it died on the second day at, like, at like 4 p.m. Yeah. Whereas last year, it died, like, at midnight on the second day, or, like, a little bit into the third day, which is crazy. It's still yeah. good, but 
So you guys can hear the really good quality on the speaker of this. This is also dependent on the microphone that the person on the other end of the call is using. But nonetheless, if you are in a meeting and they have very good microphones on the other end, you will get very good speaker and audio coming directly from this speakerphone. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'll also play back some music as well. So in case you wanted to use this to have some music in the background, then that's something that would be you know, very useful to have this type of speaker with you. If you did want to maybe use this as a speaker for music, this will give you really good audio and it's very punchy, it's very loud. Of course, this is not made to have like high bass and any type of subwoofer equipment inside it because it's not intended for that purpose. But for what it is intended for, the quality I can say is very, very good. Okay guys, and another benefit of having this is the noise cancellation feature that this is inbuilt with. You guys can hear, I'm playing some lo-fi music on a phone and I'm just placing this in the background quite close to the speaker. In fact, I'll put the volume up a little bit and I'll just place that down. And at the same time, what I'll do is type a lot of words on my keyboard to be very loud and to see if the audio is still picking up my vocals more than a lot of this background noise. So let me go ahead and start typing. But now I'm starting typing, I'm going to be tapping quite loud and I'm just doing random typing here. But I want to showcase to you guys how much noise isolation that these microphones inbuilt into this with the voice IA algorithm that's inbuilt into the meeting capsule, how well that works. So if you do have maybe some speakers in your meeting rooms that you are unable to turn off in the office, then you don't need to worry because this is actually going to be a very good speaker to just focus on the people speaking and having those meetings. So can you guys hear me typing, which is exactly right next to the meeting capsule? And can you guys hear the Spotify music in the background? I think this does a very good job and it focuses more on the pure essence of what your meetings are intended for, which is the talking. So hopefully you found that review useful, guys. There's so much capabilities in the meeting capsule by eMeet. Take a look at the description below where you can find out more information. And if you wanted to purchase this, they may have some offers running from time to time. So do check out the latest pricing information. If you guys have any other questions about the capabilities of this meeting capsule, as always, drop a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I have new videos out every week. I review really cool tech gadgets, much like this one. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.